It's been an exciting week. At the start of this week, we got our first look into the final Generation Zero update with a release trailer dropping with loads of cool stuff. Well, I say a release, an announcement trailer dropping, showing loads and loads of cool things. And I said I was going to do a detailed breakdown, and that's what we're going to do today. I've had a look through this a few times. I've figured out a few things I think I could be completely wrong and way off. But I've played the game a lot, I've got a few hundred hours in it, so I know a few bits quite well, and I, I've recognised a few things, and I'm pretty sure we can figure out what a lot of the experimental weapons are. Now, if you don't know the gist of this update, it is the final update coming to Generation Zero. And as well as that, this has got some new experimental weapons, it's going to round off the actual storyline of Phoenix, and it does answer a few questions that we've had since, well, pretty much the beginning of the game, such as FOA2, what's going on there, what's going on down in the tunnels, and it opens up a brand new island. So there's a lot coming with this update. We're also going to be unlocking, I'm pretty sure they're unlocking the skills, so you can have all of the skills, or they're doing something to the skill tree, but I'm not 100% sure on what that is. But being able to have all the skills and play everything is going to be quite cool. Now, the trailer is only a minute and a bit long. But we've been able to tell quite a lot. Namely, we've seen these first three experimental weapons, the AI-76, the HP-5, and the little single-shot shotgun or semi-auto shotgun. Um, I don't know what it's called, the Schwarzditz or whatever, but it's an awesome shotgun. Now, these three experimentals, I did already call this the other day, so I am right on some things. I'm going to pat myself on the back sometimes. But pretty cool. Let's jump in and break down the trailer and see what everything is. Now, the first thing we can see is obviously this island here. And now I know exactly where this is. As you can see here, we've got the uh, the sort of mountain top there and these orange trees. This is on the left side of the map, I believe, because as you can see in the distance there, that looks like the mainland. And then this is a part of the other island. It just continues down and there is some very vicious terrain as we can see especially where this uh whatever this thing is up here and then we got the satellite dish there but i'm stood right here in game now so as you can see we are uh, stood literally looking at this bit here and then there is the lump there where the satellite dish is so just there and if we open up the map, we are stood right here, just to the left of the Muscadon port complex inside the mountains region. So this here is the island the DLC is, well, the, the update is going to be taking place on. Now, we don't know what's down here. I can't see anything of that yet. Um, judging by some of the screenshots we've seen, I do think the main bases are going to be sort of dotted around here. Now, they did mention it is not a massive sprawling island. So as you can see, we've got uh, the Himfal here. They said it's not as big as Himfal. But it's very densely populated. Now the terrain looks much more aggressive than on Himfell. There's no roads or anything on there yet. I don't know if we're going to see a lot of main roads or whether it's going to be a lot of smaller versions. But let's keep going through and we'll see what else we can pick up. And then next we have this bit. Preferal to Kana and Sluten. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But that basically means, translated from Swedish to English, prefrontal nucleus connected. So the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that's responsible for, well, most of the things that your brain does, um, and, and a lot of control and behavior impulse. So basically what you are, that is connected to something. What is connected to? We don't know. Um, I'm assuming the satellite dish that we've just seen, though. So let's continue through. Now, as we can already see, there is a lot of Phoenix based on this. Um, we already know that. Phoenix um, runners there. And a lot of the design here looks very similar to the rest of the maps. I don't know what's going to happen with these dudes, whether we're going to be coming across a normal amount of enemies or whether this is going to be very heavily swamped. Because as you've already seen from the maps, it is quite a small area. And then that there is obviously the campsite that we've already seen. Um, as you can see, there's some sort of imagery on the computer there. I don't know what part of the map that is. I haven't been able to work that out. I don't know if that's um, the start of the game to the archipelago region, um, but <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure. So it could be this bit here. This is what I believe it looks like. So as we can, let's just swing that up there. So as you can see there, they've got the little dots, the little islands there. So we're going to be going backwards and forwards. It's going back to the start. Um, everything starts there in this little town of uh, Saltum, and you come straight across this bridge, and that's where you have your first major encounters with some of the bigger dudes. Now, there's no Phoenix there. These are all prototype machines. You don't really come across the Phoenix until you're up in the farmlands region. 
Now this is the part that most intrigues me. As you can see, FOA2, the Normraya or Normra, well, however you pronounce it, the artillery base. This has always been something that has fascinated me because of these grates here, right in the middle. We don't know what that is, we don't know what's there. As we can see, the military trucks have all moved. Now this is normally occupied, you've got one military truck, which I think that might still be there, but there's normally a couple here and loads of vehicles down here as well. But this looks relatively empty. Um, unless we're just out of camera shot and the trucks are back that way, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but normally there's a couple there anyway. And inside here, this is the grate, which when the Reaper was announced and it was in FOA4, which is on him foul, that's where we first come across him. And he stood on top of one of these that says FOA2, which interesting and links together somehow. Uh, but now these are opening up and judging by the screenshots we've already seen of the so-called tunnels, this could be something to do with FOA2. But as you can see, I'm here at FOA2. All of this is pretty damn closed. But as we can see, we get up here. It's still locked. This did open, I believe. Where it's always been a bit of a, a toss-up whether this was always open like that or whether it opened after the Reaper spawned. Uh, just as a sort of nod. But as we can see, these grates are closed as well. There's nothing in these. But in the videos, there is something there. As you can see, the grate is slightly open and there are two sort of bunker entrances or whatever these things are that are open as well. And a lot of the burnt out vehicles aren't in here. There's normally a tank and everything. Whether the tanks just be hidden beyond this wall, I'm not sure. But there's normally a tank here. There's a, a few vehicles over here as well. So this has been cleared out, which I do find quite interesting. I mean, something has come out of here. Now, all of this, we've seen all of this on the new island already. This is in the uh, screenshots that we've already discussed in previous videos. If you do want to see all of that, I'd recommend checking out the couple of videos we've done over the past week or so. Um, that goes over all of the screenshots that we've seen leaked. But I do believe this image um, that we've seen of the sort of inside the building comes from over here. Now, whatever the hell these things are, I don't know. These look like some sort of pods. This is all new. Uh, this is in the tunnels, which I believe is where that FOA2 grate leads down to, somewhere down here. Now, some people are under the impression that this is a new enemy. I don't think it is a new enemy. I think this is going to be some form of like cutscene or something. I don't think we're going to be fighting whatever this is. Um, whatever it is, I don't know, but it looks pretty damn cool. Now, some people were very convinced that this is also a new area. This is not a new area. I don't think this is the normal airbase that is in the farmlands. This is definitely not on a, a new part of the, the map or anything like that. This here, as you can see, is these buildings, should we say the hangars. And then if I just close this down, as you can see, the base is there. So... And all the pylons match up with it. So this is not a, going to be a new airfield. Um, I, I was under the impression at first that it was going to be this airfield here. So unless they've just copy and pasted the one that we're on onto this here, then no, it's definitely not going to be. And all the evidence that we've seen so far does suggest that it's definitely this island here. Now, blowing whatever these things are up is quite cool i do like that um seems like some sort of new quest we're going to stop the communications or something so i'm assuming he's going to be connecting well the phoenix is going to be connecting with parts on the main island that we've got to disrupt or destroy to stop him with whatever he's doing with that massive satellite dish connecting to aliens i, I don't bloody know but yeah um quite cool and then more evidence there to support that this is on the main island if i just spin around that is what is behind me so as you can see i've just spun around there's the airfield there the shed is in the background it's behind the explosion now and then there's the hill and then there is all of the same stuff behind me now this is where it gets interesting this is new stuff this is what we haven't seen before so i'm assuming this is another part of the island the terrain does look like it is it's really rough really rugged um everything's up in the mountains and then going off that little bit there just as you're shooting up the hill which is really annoying because i can't get it now and there we are uh, just as you're shooting up the hill you can see the elevation on that there's not many places on the main uh, main islands that have a drop that's that steep 
um that's absolutely huge this could be one of the biggest mountains in uh, in the game it might be bigger than the one in the farmlands uh, mountains region i do hope so because we need to reinvigorate the swedish space program now next up is these this is the shotgun i was talking about this is experimental it looks like there's some sort of canister under there this is going to be a some sort of flame weapon and then behind here as you can see this is another sort of bunker built into the mountain sides which i think is going to be really cool about this map i think a lot of this island is going to be bunkers and underground and nitty gritty combat but it's nice to see as well that we've got some of those Himfar guys on here. Some of the Apocalypse class enemies. Quite cool. That's going to be a bit of a challenge, which I do like. But overall, the shotgun, pretty damn cool. How are we going to get these? Not 100% sure. And then there is that pod thing again. I don't know what that is. I'm no clue whatsoever. But judging by the look of all of this land here, that's the main island. And we are at the bottom of the uh, the map itself. So we're going to be somewhere down here. And this is all the stuff off in the distance. So this, whatever this is, I mean, you, you can see there is a lot of water off in the distance there this looks like some sort of dockyard so that's the main island over there that's the archipelago region that's sort of uh, south coast region there now next we've got the new weapon this is the hp5 which we've seen leaks of already um that they've posted in the discord with whatever this thing is here now these if you watch this this is tracking ammunition so as we can see there, it's spinning around, following the enemy. So it's some sort of heat-seeking or radar, something. I don't know whether you have to lock on to enemies. But as you can see down here, this little radar, now we've fired, has little red pings on it. Which, at the beginning, if you watch, doesn't actually have those pings. So as you can see there, relatively empty. And then, as it starts to track, these, uh, these pings sort of light up on there. So I'm assuming we're going to be able to switch that off and on, whether it's heat seeking or something like that. Not 100% sure. It looks like they could have some slight explosive projectile in there, which is quite cool. And the shotgun again is fire. And then here we have the AI-76. What I do love about this is we've got a tank inside what looks to be some form of bunker, which is great. It's going to be nitty, gritty, close, pvg ain't gonna do you any good down here you're gonna need some uh, some decent weaponry that you can use close and personal kvm pvg pretty much the meta loadouts you could destroy anything with those two they're not going to work down here because the kvm is going to electrocute you the pvg is going to be too close range so there we see the ak um sights obviously normal but that front grip looks a hell of a lot bulkier than normal so i'm not too sure what that's going to be um, I have no idea of the power of this thing. Don't know what it's going to do, but we don't really see too much of it shooting. So just, I can't tell what that does. I do not know. Not a clue. And then, once again, unfortunately, I am defeated. I did think that uh, going into the tunnels in FOA 2 was going to be how we got to this island. Unfortunately not. We do take a boat. But that's still quite cool. Whether there's going to be a cutscene or we can actually drive the boat over, I don't know. I think that would be really cool if we could. But I highly doubt that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything we know so far about the Generation Zero final update. What do you think to the trailer? Does it look good? Are you excited? We're going to do a video how you can prep for this update because there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to need to have on you to get the maximum chance to get through this and get everything you want as quickly as possible. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. For now, we're going to wrap that one up there. I've been wired. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.